Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is March the 28th, and we're looking together in Psalm chapter 53. Psalm chapter 53 is very, very similar to another psalm that we've already looked at, and that's Psalm chapter 14. Remember, each one of the psalms were a song that the, they used in Israel. These were the Jewish, this was their song book. So it wasn't uncommon to kind of take an old song, like we do many times today, redo it a little bit, and sing it again. And that's what happened here with just a few minor changes from Psalm chapter 14. This is a psalm of victory, and we see that in verse 5 over the Assyrian army where David says, Terror will grip them, terror like they have never known before. God will scatter the bones of your enemies and will put them to shame, for God has rejected them. And we know this is the same uh, battle that he's talking about because of what happened in Psalm 14, and we talked about that in the past. But one of the things that just jumped out at me again when I read this psalm, there was two big verses, and the first one is verse 1. It says, only fools say in their heart, there is no God. Man, I'm telling you, there are people today in our world who will say the same thing. There's no God. How can there be a God? Look at what's happening in our world around us. How can there be a God if there's a virus that is spreading like this and we're on lockdown and all of these things? Well, they're asking the wrong question. The question that they're asking is, why does bad things happen to good people? And that's, that's the wrong question. That's a question that we should we really don't have to ask because uh, the, the other verse that jumped out at me will explain. Verse 3, the end of verse 3, it says, No one does good, not a single one. So the question is not, why does God let bad things happen to good people? Because this chapter also tells us that none of us are good. The question we should be asking is, why does God allow anything good to happen to any one of us? Because none of us are good. So why does God choose to bless us? Why does anything good happen to us? If we got what we deserved, every single one of us would suffer in hell for eternity, separation from God, because we're sinners. None of us are good. At the very core of who we are, we are fallen humans. And the only way we can have a relationship with God is through what Jesus Christ did for us. But still, we are born with that sin nature, and we fight that sin nature. We will fight that sin nature until either we die or the Lord comes back in, in, in the rapture. So why do bad things happen to good people? No, wrong question. Why does anything good happen to any one of us? Because we're all sinners. We're all fallen human beings. Why does that happen? Why does God let anything good happen to us? Because he loves us. Because of his mercy because he cares. Man, it, it makes me think so much about when I came to Christ as a young man. Uh, I'll never forget the day as long as I live. I'll never forget the date, June the 4th, 1982. I can still remember the peeling wallpaper in my parents' room and, and how I would go up the wood staircase up there upstairs to where my room was right at the top of the steps and theirs was down around the corner. Uh, I'll, I'll never forget that day when I talked with my mom and began to ask her questions and and she finally realized that I understood what I was uh, wanting to do, come into a relationship with Jesus. And that day I trusted Christ as my personal savior. That day changed my life. Was I a horrible person before then? No, I was just a boy. I've been way worse since I've been saved than I was before. So, but it's what God saved me from becoming. He saved me from becoming something that I'll never know because of his mercy, because of his grace, because he cares for us. So let's be careful in this time that we're in, not to focus on the negative and see all the bad things that are happening around us and how people are, are hoarding things and how we can't do what we want to do and how we're stuck inside and this is so terrible. We're focusing on the wrong things. We should be focusing on the good things that God has given us, the family that we have. Yeah, we might be shelter in place, but look who we're sheltered with. We're sheltered with our family re-engage, re-get to know, spend time with them, and look for the blessings in all of this. Because you always find what you're looking for. You either find the bad because you're looking for the bad, or you find the good because you're looking for the good. So let's change our output, outlook. Let's, let's look for the good because there's always good, because we have a good Father who cares and loves us. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.